Something. Excuse me? Nothing. So, can I get you anything? Yes, I will have a decaf, lactose-free mocha with imitation soya cream uh, and mint leaves. Yeah, we don't have any of that stuff. Really? Uh, well, what do you have then? Uh, normal drinks, like hot water or milk. Well, that's ridiculous. Can't you do anything else? Oh. Why not combine the two? What? I'm a barista, not a mad scientist. Just pick something off the board, will ya? I'm expecting a lunchtime rush any minute. Mmm... Okay, a latte. But not that. Tea? Not that either. You know, I wouldn't get this service at Herbert's. They treat you right over there. With dignity. And coffee. Yeah, three cheers for Herbert's. They're so great. With their fancy coffee beans and their great customer service, why don't you just go there? They're closed. Baby shower. Uh, of course. Herbert's is great. Do you know they have an apple juice making class there on Wednesdays? They let you zest the apples and everything. Really? Yeah, you can pick your own footwear to drink it from as well. I love Herbert's. Don't we all? Anyway, thanks for coming, this has been a blast. But I haven't ordered anything. Yes, you did. If you just... Hold your horses for a second. I'll make it for you. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, by the way, how much is a coffee at Herbert's? Uh, two pounds. That'll be four pounds then, please. That's a bit much, isn't it? I can pour some away if you want. There you go. But then it's just an empty cup. Oh my god, is it too much or is it too little? Can you just make your mind up? Actually, can you just leave? I have never been treated so disrespectfully in all my life. Yeah, well I'm here all week if you hate yourself enough to come back, but please don't. I... I demand to see your manager. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to see her too, but she hasn't been here in seven months. What? Oh, I mean she's just through there. Oh, through here? Yep, that's the one. Is she outside? Well, I wouldn't lead you outside under false pretenses. It's not like I'm trying to get you out of the cafe or anything. But can you please hurry up? Because I really need to lock up. But aren't you expecting the lunchtime rush? Uh, yeah, and that's exactly why I need to close. I can give. So the manager is definitely I, ca discount. I can't hear you, but yeah. Okay. Oh, don't forget what I said about Herbert next Wednesday. Oh, oh and don't mm. ever pick the sandals. Okay, thanks. Morning! Oh, or should I say afternoon? Ready for luncheon? I have a draft of my play for you to skim through when you're yeah, ready. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just get inside. Huh. Nice to see you two. Shh, before someone hears you. What are you doing? Locking up before any customers arrive. Again? What happened to Mary? Oh, uh, she fell down a chimney or something. What? That's awful. I know. I haven't been able to have my lunch in peace all week. Hi, we know you're in there. Yeah, I have a meeting in three minutes and I left it very late to come grab a sandwich and a coffee and now I feel the need to blame you for my poor judgement. I don't even want to buy anything. Have you got a loo? See? They're so annoying! They're your customers, Cliff? Please, you act as if they're people. Customers are not people, especially these ones. What are you talking about? It's like they're fueled by hate. No matter how mean I treat them, they just keep coming back. Like yesterday, one customer just stood there for five minutes, not saying anything. I just lost it and punched him square in the face. You did what? And do you know what he did? Call the police? He just looked me straight in the eyes and said, see you tomorrow. Uh, well, this cafe is in the middle of nowhere. It's not like there's a Costas across the road. Maybe they don't have a choice. There's always a choice. And if I can convince them that coming here is the wrong one, then I've done my job. You know, you never cease to amaze me. Thanks. Now, have you got lunch or what? Yep, I've got it right I'll take here. that. 
Two chicken bonanzas with chips. Right, so which one is bigger? Does it really matter? Oh, yes! It's this one. No, that's my one. Yeah, but you say it doesn't matter. Cheers, Elliot. You're welcome. So have you heard from Rick? Yeah, I uh, gave him a call earlier. Told him to meet us down by the docks tonight. What do you mean, meet down by the docks? I thought we were going to the pub. <clears throat> Yeah, well, hear me out. <laughs> hear me uh, out. Ah, don't tell me you got another one of your silly ideas going on. Look, I don't see you coming up with anything. Yeah, because we were supposed to meet at the pub to come up with ideas. Okay, so I took the initiative. Initiative? <laughs> Let's not forget that it was my idea that we both got these jobs in the first place to help pay off this debt. Yeah, crappy jobs. Thanks for that, by the way. It's really enjoyable standing here all day. Doing nothing? Well, you're not supposed to be standing here all day doing nothing. You have customers on the other side of that door. Sure, sure, shush, they'll hear you. Uh, well, aren't you going to ask me how my day's going? No. Cliff, you could at least pretend to care. I don't care about your boring office work. <gasps> office work isn't boring. I don't believe you. It's not. Like, uh, the other day, I was in the office looking for my stapler, and I couldn't find it anywhere, so I went down to reception, and I spoke to Pablo, and uh, he, he, can't, he doesn't speak a word of English, he just came up with, no, Pablo, stapler, I couldn't find it. My god, that sounded so boring. Oh no, it's not boring. We have loads of fun. I almost laughed the other day. <laughs> anyway, at least I'm not away with the fairies all the time. But what are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say, Cliff, is that you spend most of your time daydreaming about aliens and saving princesses and explosions. You act like there's more important things to daydream about. I mean, things explode all the time. Like uh, cats and uh, and cars and uh, and bubblegum. Cats don't explode. What? I... I have, you, have you not seen cats explode? Because I have. No. The other day. Really? I saw Miss Mahogany's cat, Antonio Banderas, sitting there on a fence. Then BOOM! Gone. No! That's ridiculous! That's, that is not what happened. I was with you at the time. A stupid bunch of teenagers let off some firecrackers and it scared the cat away. Okay, great. You know everything. But do you know this? Cat ghost. What is cat ghost? You know, like the ghost of a cat. The ghoulish feline. Pussy spectre. You saw a white cat, didn't you? Oh, whatever. You're just jealous you don't have dreams where you get to punch aliens in the face. Huh. As if I'd dream about that. Besides, everyone knows aliens don't even exist. They're just monsters that were made up to scare little children from growing up and exploring too much space. <gasps> they do exist. And I bet you a real bloody tenner they do. How would either of us even win? There's no way we could ever prove each other wrong. I see. Are you worried I'm right? Come on. Chicken. Okay, 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 okay. You're nearly as bad as Rick. If we come across an alien, by the time we're 70, I'll give you 100 pounds. How does that sound? Well, it sounds as if you're going to be 100 pounds lighter, you doofus. Whatever. Right. Well, thanks for lunch. I suppose it's time to face the music. Oh, and whatever you do, don't look them in the eyes. Cliff. Stay away from the door, I'm opening up. Are you gonna be all right? I have a stale baguette. I'll be fine. I'll see you later. I want 75 bacon rolls, quick as you can, and don't you dare break eye contact. Is anything reduced? How long have these muffins been out? <sighs> Why am I always so early? No, wait, I'm not early. They're late! As usual. Right, it's better than yours, I can teach you, but I have to charge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That make me oh, there you are. Where have you been? Oh, what the boys. Mm -hmm. Rick. Earthquakes milkshake. Rick! Oh, you're right, Elliot. Uh, what was that about? You what? I was just standing here. Did you not see me? You walked straight past me. Oh. Did I? Yes. I was thinking about a sandwich I had earlier. Oh! What was it this time? Cereal in a bun? Fish finger lasagna baton? BLT? So why are we here? Hang on. I was just giving you a scolding. Okay. Oh, you are very late, my friend. So why are we here? 
Look, I have no idea what goes through that lanky git's head. All I know is that he wanted us to meet outside this fishing shop. This is a fishing shop? How do you know that? It says fishing shop on the front, Rick. Ah. Well, maybe he wants to buy us dinner. <laughs> From a fishing shop? Yeah, well, it's a fish shop, isn't it? Yes, but it's not that kind of fish shop. It's for the actual fishing of fish. Maybe he wants to buy us some actual fish, then. Forget it. Look, I think Cliff is up to something dodgy. Getting us to meet here, under the cover of night, without obvious reason. It's it just is not, not... like him? What? No, it's exactly like him to do something this suspicious. These things always end with us in trouble. Well, maybe it's like that time we were looking for that treasure. He told us to wait at the supermarket really early in the morning. Remember? Oh, I remember Cliff managing to scam us into spending £250 on bloody cereal. It was a bit of a shock to him when he found out the treasure map was just a toy. Yeah, I like that cereal though. What was it again? I don't remember. Sure you do. Oh, they were Pat Sharp's mullet flakes. That's the dealie. Oh, they were disgusting. With actual flakes. Cliff? There you are. Do you mind telling us what's going on now? Oh, hey guys. Oh, right, first things first. Rick, do you remember that mint collection of Mr Universe trading cards that you found a couple of weeks ago? No? Oh, okay. Good. Oi, what are you playing at? You said you would trade me the full set. Yeah, of course I did. Ch check it again. It's missing, Mr 1993. Are you sure? Right, two seconds, I'll check in my satchel. <laughs> that looks like a purse. It's a satchel, all right. Okay, here we go. There, a fabled Mr 1993 trading card, Mr Biggie Lewis himself. All yours. Oh, brilliant. I can't believe I've got the full set. Derek down the chippy ain't going to believe this. Oh, Guys, let's go now. Oh, what have you done now? Hang on a second. This isn't the Mr 1993 trading card. This is a sausage. Where's my Biggie Lewis? Uh, leg it, lads. Cliff, wait for us. Come back here. Cliff, would you please care to explain what the hell is going on? <sighs> oh, sorry about that. You caught any more sausages in that purse of yours? <sighs> no, and it's a satchel. Right, we need to make a stop here. You've brought us to a pub. <laughs> oh, and a really rough one. Great. Care to elaborate? We're here because of Rick's debt. What debt? I didn't buy anything. Ah, uh, he means that set of trading cards you nicked? Oh, you mean those Mr. Universe cards? Has anyone seen them? I can't remember where I put them. That's because you, uh, lost them in a fire. Yeah, remember? You remember, don't you, Elliot? Yes, it was horrible. They all caught fire and burned. Oh, okay. I'll miss them. They weren't even yours, though. I mean, you must at least remember you stole them. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You took them from some poor chap who tripped over a stray baguette on Barnaby Street. He must have been on the floor for about four seconds before you swooped in and relieved him of his suitcase. I thought he was dead. You know, finders peepers and all that. It's finders keepers. And I'm pretty sure that won't hold as your defence in a court of law. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he said I could have them. Did he actually say that? He said it with his lifeless eyes. Right. Anyway, because of that little episode, we now have a price on our heads. So whoever he was, he really wants his suitcase back. But I thought you said he just wanted money from us. He does. But we took too long to pay him back, so now he's going to pay some thugs to kick our bums in. Ah, oh, wonderful news. So, how much is the bounty? I think they're about 60p. No, Rick. The bounty. Not a bounty. It's 75 quid. Oh, that's a bit much for a chocolate bar. Why couldn't we have just handed the set back? Because it's missing the most valuable card. You mean Biggie Lewis, don't you? Yup. 
the Mr. 1993 winner, Biggie Lewis. He's like the most famous bodybuilder ever. We don't want to hand that setback without that card. Trust me. Well, it doesn't matter anymore because you just traded the rest of them away. And for what? Some fishing poles and gone off bait? Oh my god, it stinks. <coughs> That's just what bait smells like, L. Don't worry. This leads into the next phase of my plan. But we're outside a pub. Well, we're obviously going to go inside. And what about all that fishing gear that you got earlier? Well, we're gonna go fishing. Uh, how is fishing gonna help us pay off a madman? Relax, there's just someone inside we need to talk to first. Oh my god, it looks so unhygienic. Okay, you can just wait outside then with all the big issue sellers, the perverts. Oh, and the apex predators. <laughs> Don't be silly, there's no one like that around here. Is there? The issue sellers, the perverts. Oh, and the apex predators. Bag of shit, bag of shit. No. I bought three last week. The I've been sitting on some chocolate for three weeks. Would you like a nibble sweetness? No, not our chocolate. Oh, and the apex predators. No! Are you alright? You look like you've seen an apex predator. Uh, uh, this place looks lovely, <laughs> shall we? Has the music stopped? Oh, sorry, I dropped my aubergine. <laughs> oh, those chaps look nice. Oh, where was I? Oh, yes. oh, one, two, three. Right, you two wait here. We're not coming with you. So what are we supposed to do then? I don't know. Think of something. Great. I suppose we should try and order something then. Good idea. I'm starving. Excuse me. Oh, what? Sir? What do you want? Can't you see I'm a busy man? Oh, sorry. Uh, do you serve any food? Oh, oui, oui. A sexy menu. Okay. Well, do you have a menu we could peruse? A peruse? No, no. I don't speak Italian. I am full English. Like the office man. Okay. Uh, well, can we have... Two pioneers, please. Hey, you choose the sexiest thing on my menu. You buy some meatball, you. I will get you one for you and your boyfriend. No, no, he's not my boyfriend. What? I thought we had something special, Elliot. Shut up. Hey, bon quick with your spicy meatball. I need the two rusty barnacles and the murky fish waters for the salami slappers. Hey, I love the boys. How much a brine do you want? Oh, for the last time, we're not together. And we don't want brine yeah, either. Yeah, we want brine. All the brine. Okay, donkey. Hey, bon quick, quick. They want the extra brine. Uh, excuse me, mate. Uh, hey, have you uh, seen Frank? Where's his table? Oh, uh, there's Frank's table. Over there by his soft elephant anus. Hanging on the wall. What? Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I'm an alligator anus. Oh, yeah! Oh, cheers! I said, that's all I've got, man! That's all I've got! So he turns around and he runs off! <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Who are you? He looks like a city boy to me, lads! <laughs> yes, yeah, good one. Uh, I'm, I'm Cliff. I'm here to fish. He thinks he's a fisherman, lads! <laughs> uh, no, I am actually here about that fishing job you uh, placed an advert for. Oh, 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 so you think you're up to it then? Up to it? Mate, I was born for fishing. Fishing? If you were born for fishing, I was born for fucking! <laughs> okay, okay, if that's how you want to play it, I mean, I can just take my numerous fishing awards and leave. Unless you want to give me a chance. All right then, well, I don't suppose we got much else on tonight, so uh, take a pew there, Jim, and let's talk some business. Uh, the name was Cliff. I said, take a pew there, Jim, or I'll put you in the f***ing ground. Uh, you... Only joking! <laughs> All right. So these two next to me are my shipmates. This one here is Pete Portside, and that one there is Lenny. Good day, fine sir. Bastard. Yeah, you're right, guys. That'd be the spirit, Len. Now, Jimbo. 
That was our job. Yeah, yeah. You need me to catch a fish. Catch a fish? Catch a fish? Lads, he thinks he's just here to catch a fish. Actually, we do kind of need you to just to catch a fish. Oh, well, that'll be easy then because of all the hundreds of fish I've caught in the past. Or sea gits, as my uncle used to call them. Now, what can you tell me about this fish? Well, he ain't your average fish for starters. <laughs> Ah, oh, you're going to tell me a story, aren't you? <laughs> well, some say this particular fish was the product of a failed tabulation between a demented catfish named Kim and a Lebanese white-backed carp called Chow! Jesus, inside voice! Others say he manifested itself out of the nether regions of the Barren Street. <sighs> and still others say he appeared in Palin Pool in Norwich after the disastrous episode of Question Time with Jedward. Yeah. No, no, Frank, it's okay! Ah, uh, but it don't matter in the end. What matters is he now resides here in St. Mary's, and he is one evil fish. <laughs> okay, okay. So, for a mythical fish, he's got to have a name, right? I, Cheapy the Fish! Okay, so you want him caught pretty badly. What did he do to you guys? Old Cheapy here cost Lenny his legs and his marriage. <laughs> oh, God, did he... Bite them off in a frenzied attack, like in that famous shark movie. Sea Muncher 2 underwater bite back. What? No, 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 no. Cheapy, he slept with Lenny's wife, and he had to sell his legs to cover the cost of the divorce. Them legs was made of Brazilian tiger wood. It was expensive. Oh. It's all right, Lenny. <laughs> he ain't here. <laughs> Now let me tell you, I've heard other tales about this bastard fish. No, you don't have to say any more. I've really got to go. Oh, go <laughs> like, no, yeah. I'm gonna tell you a nice story. <laughs> okay, I suppose one more story. <laughs> well, no. Ah, it's the spirit, Jimbo. We'll make a fisherman out of you yet. So, many a year ago, a gentle traveller named Gwendolyn was passing over a bridge in St Mary's one evening, and she decided to take a break and take in the view of the docks. And she thought it would be a good idea to throw one pence coin into the river. Little did she know that Cheapy had claimed that particular spot by the bridge as his own and he bloody hated one pence coins! Ah! Ooh, so uh, what happened then? Well, old Cheapy, he didn't like that much, did he? So maybe coming into his home and throwing small coins at him, he went crazy! He tore through St. Mary's like a freight train and through a plate of cheese. No way! Wow, so was anyone hurt? They say some innocent bystanders were left severely shocked by the ordeal. And the Cheapy, he got water in old lady's eye. She never recovered. <laughs> Damn, so he sounds like quite the catch. Aye, so listen here, Jim, when I tells you that out there in the briny deep, Cheapy, he will find you and he will hurt you. <laughs> okay, so why did you put out a reward for his capture if he's so dangerous? Because you must have known stupid people would come and try and claim it. You mean people like yourself? Well, no. Well, I guess people we, like himself, yeah, lads. Uh, yeah, shit. But... <laughs> hey, I see your point. But just for the record, I am not stupid. Just desperate. Keep it the fish! She's not to be trifled with. You mark my words. Hey, remember you're talking to a seasoned fish man. I've got buckets. Lots and lots of buckets. Buckets? Have you not got a fishing rod? What the hell is that? I'm joking. Of course I've got a fishing rod. It's that thing with the net, right? I had a bucket once. She was a remarkable thing. Full of spice and all things nice. Reminds me of the summer of 43 when I once... Cross the horizon into the <laughs> of an angel. Whoa! Raise your anger and hoist the sail there, Pete! Oh, never mind me. I was telling a story. Right, one more thing before I leave. There is a reward for catching this fish, right? Aye. 50 pounds? <laughs> you won't regret this, Frank. I won't let you down. That fish is as good as caught. See you later. Good luck with that there, Jimbo, you pox-ridden, grunt sloughing oh, f***ing pufter! And that concludes tonight's entertainment. Please make your way to the exits. And do not forget, next Thursday is Bring Your Harpoon Night. Three for two on rum. I'm looking at you, Terry. We all know you like a temper. So, it'll be a game show called Barry Scott, hosted by Cream Crackers in which contestants have to get into a water-filled shower cubicle and dodge their own shit. Yeah. What, you don't like it? I think it might need some work. Oh, hey, Cliff. How did it go? We have a date with an evil fish. Wait, what? I'll explain on the way.
Well, that doesn't sound like a stupid idea at all. Oh, glad you agree. I was being sarcastic. Of course, this is the stupidest idea I have ever heard. Yeah, I like the bit with the fisherman, though. Shut up. Look, in hindsight, this may not have been my brightest idea. But what's important is that we're all here together and we're bonding. <sighs> so, to recap, we're on a wild goose chase trying to catch a fish for a reward that won't even cover the cost of the bounty on our heads. But we're bonding. Yeah, we're bonding. Great. See? That's the spirit. Right, here's the spot. Is there really no other way to get <sighs> 75 pounds well, together? We could do plenty of other things, but none of them would be anywhere near as fun or as reckless as this. I'm gonna start a fire. Gonna start a fire. I'm gonna start a fire. Whoa, what are you doing? Fire. Jesus, no! Don't you dare. What? Why not? Do you really forget everything? That court order? You shouldn't even be anywhere near these combustibles. Oh, yeah. Well, that won't happen again. Yeah? Well, tell that to the endangered bird sanctuary. I'll get the fire. I can't believe I agreed to this. I knew I should have stayed at the flat. I thought fishing was supposed to be fun. This is just boring. Fishing is supposed to be therapeutic, not fun. Uh, it'll happen soon. Cheap people come and knock in, I know it. <sighs> yeah, well, he better. We're missing a good episode of Alan Titchmarsh's Bikini Hour for this. Oh no, I forgot that was on. Yeah, apparently it's the episode where he gets trapped on a boat and has to outwit Serpico's henchmen with nothing but a pack of seeds and a sports bra. Whoa, what? I know, Ross Campbell's guest starring in this one. Uh, no, I mean I can feel something. Uh, get over and help me out. Hold on. Oh, why did you bring so much junk food? Never mind that. Help me reel him in. Uh, uh, Rick, uh, quick uh, up. I think I've got him. Uh, Come on. Oh, yeah. What's going uh, on? God. Yes, I did it! I caught Chippy the fish! I caught Chippy the fish! Guys, Chippy are you fish. saying this? I caught Chippy the fish. I caught Chippy and you didn't. What on earth is that? There he Oh yeah, boy, take that, Frank. Uh, Cliff? Oh, what's wrong now? Ah, bollocks. Huh? Elliot? Something's Rick, happening! Hold on! I think I'm being sucked off! No! You're being sucked uh, up! As if he'd know the difference! Zing! They're taking me too! No, get no, off no, me, no, you no, freak! No. Great, so I suppose it's now my turn, but you are not taking this fish! Ah, oh, dropped it. Bye! Ah. What happened? I don't know! Okay, just asking. <gasps> Ow! What now? Oh, what do you think? I had Cheapy and I dropped him! <laughs> Never mind Cheapy Cliff! Where are we? This isn't St. Mary's. Yeah, now you mention it. It's very white and spacious. Are we in Ikea? <laughs> We are not in Ikea. Are you sure? I swear I saw a catalogue back there. Oh, shush. Uh, is Rick asleep? <sighs> Oi, wake up, you filthy bug! Ow! What? Oh, great. What now? Ooh, I wonder what that could be. Whoa! Oh, God, golly! Well, looky here, Hillary. We gotta call ourselves some pinky humanoids. A gee, Quinn, and they look awfully fleshy like. I hope they got some more wriggles in them than the last bunch. Oh, God. Are they? <laughs> yeah. You owe me a hundred pounds. They can stay. Hillary, 
Pitch the divide. Yeah, I love this part. Come here. Ooh. We can hear you, you know. And you're not coming anywhere near my ass with that thing. What? Oh, well, hey, we got a feisty one. I think I'm going to call this one feisty. Ow, I was just going to call him Billy. Ha, <laughs> you're both wrong. His name's Elliot. Cliff, don't tell them my name. But now you just told them my name. His name's Elliot, by the way. And I'm Rick. <sighs> now, now, you have nothing to be afraid of. Yeah, this only hurt a little. And uh, uh, what my brother means is that there's nothing remotely suspicious about us. Uh, yeah. That's why you got 12 tentacles on your face and a fake moustache. And tell them they smell, tell them they smell. Shut up! Elliot, would you just relax? No! We stood in front of two extraterrestrials. Oh no, Quinnon, they're on to us! Ah! Hillary, ah! cease so! <laughs> okay! Now, excuse my trouble, brother. He ate too much of that famous human delicacy. You know the one. Actually, no. Cliff! Them. I want to know. Yeah, I want to hear this. Uh, monkey shit. No, uh, that came out wrong. Yeah. You mean, uh, horse shit. Mm -mm. It's our favorite. Yum yum. Oh my god, they're European. No, we are hail from the USA on the A. We love lots of George Bush, a Grand Canyon, a Taco Bell, a Eiffel Tower. Ah, uh, they're definitely European. Hey, guys, guys, look. If you're from the US... US? What the hell's he talking about? Oh, he means the US. Oh, yeah, we're from the US. <laughs> yeah, the US. Well, I mean, you're obviously from there, so you must be able to tell me what the capital is. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, go yeah, on. Yeah, it's, uh... You? Oh, yeah. Huh, not heard of that one before. Yeah, I think they should keep trying. Oh, oh really? Hush up now, give him another one, Hillary. Uh, uh, cheeseburger! Oh, I'm hungry now. Quick, hit him with another one, boy! Uh, uh, autism! Uh, uh, I mean, Ikea! See, I told you they're European. Do you honestly expect us to believe this? Yes. Look. We know who you are. Yeah! Yeah! Aliens! Wait, what? Oh, oh, oh not us! us. So, oh, oh, only, no. only a little bit! You purely has legs! Oh, okay, I think you need a moment, so we're just gonna head out. We've gotta be somewhere, haven't we, guys? Yeah, we gotta scoot. Uh, Rick's grandma's giving birth. Oh, no! Rick! Not again! No, don't worry. She's not oh, pregnant. Not Rick. She's been dead no, for six Claire. years, remember? Dead? No, Rick! Dead! No! Oh, that's great news! Oh, 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 great! You can stay longer then! Oh, that's a relief. That means all those gifts won't go to waste after all. Gifts? Cliff? You got, uh, you got gifts? Uh-huh. Lovely gifts. For you. Because how else would you celebrate International Rob Schneider Day? Which is today? I love Rob Schneider Day. I don't know. They're free. Oh, can we? Can we? Well, I suppose a few gifts couldn't hurt. Guys, we need to get out of here. These things are clearly not to be trusted. What? He said there'd be free gifts, Elliot. Come on, gifts sound awesome. Hey, uh, what, what you guys, guys talking about? about? Do you mind if we intrude? Uh, we'll just be two seconds. Yeah. Free gifts, free, free gifts, gifts, free gifts. gifts! It's settled! <laughs> this is bonkers! Would you relax? You're messing with my karma. Such your karma, you big thumbhead! Oi! I want to go back home! Look, would you rather be back in St. Mary's with an empty fish bucket facing the likes of Sicilian Benny, huh? Or would you rather be here with a bucket full of free stuff? Who is Sicilian Vinny? Oh, it doesn't matter. You made him up, didn't you? No. Have you not have you not heard of him? Anyway, we I mean we should just we could sell this stuff when we get home. We are on a spaceship! This isn't the pub! We can't just come and go as we please. This isn't a spaceship, Elliot. It's IKEA. <laughs> no, Rick, it is actually a spaceship, because we're in space. Oh out the window. Oh yeah. It's well black, isn't it? Anyway. Let's just make the most of it. You know, I'm gonna look forward to your apology later. When this all goes tits up. Ha, <laughs> I don't apologize. Hillary, is the room prepared? Uh, yes, sir, Quinnon. I go and made some changes to it, just like you said. Excellent. Now, prized guests, if you will kindly follow us.
So, uh, are you guys visiting long? The hell you say? <laughs> what he means is, how long have you been in England for? The hell is England? Oh yes, we are what you would call the tourists. We have been here for a while now. Oh yeah, I got lots of pictures. No, Hillary, not the extremely classified dossier. I mean, Big Mama's scrapbook. <laughs> oh yeah, it's got a picture of her in a bikini. Man, she'd kill us if you saw that. Oh, oh she sure would. <laughs> Everyone loves a giggle. <laughs> if only they knew. <laughs> uh, uh, these are actually plans for a secret weapon to kill you. Oh, that, but what he means is the room's right here. We're here. Oh, look, it's the door. These Europeans are very friendly. <laughs> what did he just say? Shut up, Ellie. You're going to ruin the free gifts for us. Now, please enter the designated gift receiving room box for your pleasure. Yeah, squeeze in now. It's a bit cramped. I hope I get a silk loincloth. Or maybe even a jug of protein shake. Was anyone else expecting the gift room to have more... I don't know... Gifts in it? Please, all get inside nice and tight. What? Ooh, Come on, I'm trying. I'm get stuck. In. I should have gone in, in there, right? first. Come in. Right. No, get out the way. Ah. Wiggle. Oh. Yes, get him. Hey, yeah. what are you doing? No, they're locking us in. Yeah, I got it right this time. Nobody got incinerated. Hey. They tricked us! Damn it! I knew International Rob Schneider Day was a week earlier than usual. Ha! We tricked you! Now you're all mine! Mine? You mean our George Quinnin? The hell I do, Hillary! You been sniffing some more of that gab snuck here, or are you just a mad car bag? Now, gosh darn it, Quinnin, I am a Well, the staying for a bit seems to be going well. When shall we leave the shiny spaceship? Are you ready yet? You don't have to be like that. Look, you're always so negative. Quentin and Hillary are only joking. Aren't you? I'm a snuggle. Yeah, you wanna do that again? No! Come up then. I don't wanna come up. Okay, I've got no idea what they're talking about. They're probably talking about how they're going to eat us. And stick probes up our anal cavities. I don't wanna go through that kind of trouble. Oh, would you relax? Which one do you want anyway? I wanna get fasty all around my gums and feel them tickle my digestive insides. No, that's no fair. I wanted that one. Well, you could have the tall one. Oh, the tall one would surely pretty all over the spacey latex walls. But what about the tall one? Oh, I want Smoy's habits liquidized into soup. Okay, I think we might be in some trouble. <laughs> Cliff, we need to look for a way out. Yeah, but in case you haven't noticed, we're stuck inside a box. Should we have a plan or something first? Yeah, um, you, you need to try and distract them while we- Shh, guys, I can't think. What do we do? You're not gonna bloody think of a bloody plan. I can think of a plan. I just need a few hours. Hey, Quentin, Hillary, Cliff. I said distract them, not draw their attention to us. What the hell does he want? I think he wants to tell us something. Did you hear about the man who was rushed into surgery this morning after six toy horses were found up his ass? Doctors have described his condition as stable. <laughs> oh, Rick, don't laugh. What are you doing, Cliff? You wanted a distraction? This is it. Oh. Uh, Rick, you look over there. I found myself drowning in an ocean made out of orange soda yesterday. It took me a while to work out, but it was just a fantasy. I've got, I've got more. How does the man in the moon cut his hair? Eclipse. You like these, don't you? A book just fell on my head. I've only got my shelf to blame. I've been charged with murder for killing a man with sandpaper. I only intended to rough him up a bit. Another, another, I want more! I'll go on, one more. I went to a seafood disco last week and pulled a muscle! <laughs> Thank you, I'm here for five more minutes. Ooh, look, there's a big blue button here. Is this the way out? No, oh, don't touch it. It could cause a dangerous vacuum. What? 
Did it not occur to you that this could be an airlock? Yeah, but when you think about it, where does anything bad ever come from pressing a blue button? Red is what we should all be worried about. What? Like this one? No! Uh oh. Hillary! Hot ejaculation complete. Yes, Quentin! What in the name of Bullseye's wang sack just happened to the pleasure pod? <laughs> I think you just don't go in and ejaculate him. Just get my map book out. You have a map book? For space? No, Rick, I don't have a map book for space. Well, maybe we're not in space. Maybe we're back on Earth. I mean, we're only going for like 30 seconds. Can't be that far, right? Cliff, if we were not in space, we would have crashed into something. So where are we then? Well, I don't know. Have a look out the bloody window. Well, move out of the way. I'll have a look. Let me do it. I like windows. Well, yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> oh, ooh, I can see something. Oh, what is it? What can you see? It's your mum. Huh? And she's massive! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Whoa, what was that? Did you feel that? Uh, guys, you need to see this. If it's my mum again, it's not. Just look. What is that? <laughs> What's it saying? I don't know. Oh, the that's Cliff. Cliff. No, no, stop. Go, go on, on, Cliff. Go on. Yeah. I'll hold Elliot. You turn coat. Hello? <laughs> What the hell is he saying? I don't know, but don't respond. You're just gonna get us into more trouble. Oh, he'll be fine. Sure, no, yes, no. please. <sighs> oh, that wasn't so bad. Cliff, what have you done? Uh, oh. uh, what's going on? Oh, great. It looks like we're being sucked in. Oh, you mean sucked off? Dude! Okay, okay. We need to brace ourselves. Get off me. No, 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 Cliff. Okay. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. We're gonna be fine. This is the end! It's fine, see? It stopped. <laughs> We've stopped. But where? I don't know. But do you think they've got Wi-Fi? Here? Cliff, I don't think you understand the gravity of this situation. Hey, all I'm saying is that there's no death troopers waiting to kill us. All I see are three friends with a pocket full of wisdom and a hard-on for adventure. Cliff, I am nowhere near hard right now. Speaking of hard, I'm busting for a slash. <laughs> No, wait! They might not be in the air! Uh, yeah, I can't breathe. What's he doing? Are you done? Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Come on, guys. All clear. Green light. Are you sure it's a good idea just waltzing into somewhere we have no idea about? We're not going to get very far if we sit in the escape pod, are we? Someone will know where we are, we just have to go and ask them. Have they got any toilets around here or what? I still think we should be cautious, considering we just escaped some bloodthirsty aliens. All aliens can't be like that. I'm sure they were just a one-off. Seriously guys, I need a piss. And what if they're not a one-off? I don't want to die out here. Elliot, we're all going to die someday, so it might as well be today. Well, I'd quite prefer if we didn't die today. I haven't had supper yet. Uh, hold on, can you guys hear that? Yes, it sounds like a crowd. Of bloodthirsty aliens? Yes, a crowd of aliens! But they're not bloodthirsty, I bet they're fine. Quickly, hurry up. Yeah, hurry, hurry up. I'm dying here, come on, come on! Just a second. There! Single file. Yes, aliens! Oh, there's an amoeba with trainers! A rhino man! Ah, it's a robot! No Cliff, come back! And he's off. Do aliens even use toilets? Why won't you talk to me? Cliff, what are you doing? 
I've never seen a robot before, and then he's there, and I try talking to him, and he doesn't do anything, stupid piece of crap! Oops. Cliff? Hello? Excuse me? I think he's broken. Apologies. Insert species name here. But my initial scans cannot determine your immediate business and custom in this quadrant. It may be beneficial for you to return to... Insert species home planet here. ...so that you may acquire the appropriate biological life forms needed for my rudimentary welcome scan. You fucking what? Rick? Reinitializing scan. Scan complete. Welcome... Human being. ...to Morgon 7, Interplanetary Space Station and Vacation Sphere. Where? You don't go to your vacation, but your vacation goes to you. Disclaimer. Travel still required to reach Morgon 7, vacation sphere. I am Gunther. 808. How may I help you today? Hmm. I suppose we know where we are now. Ask it how far away from Earth we are. Ask him. Him, L. Robots are people too. Whatever! Can you just ask the damn piece of scrap how screwed we are? Okay, fine. Hey, Gunther! Don't suppose you know how far planet Earth is from Morgon 7? Certainly. Calculating. Destination? Earth. Distance approximately? 75 trillion 198 billion 434 million 622 thousand and one. So, what? Is that in meters or something? The distance is measured in the universal galactic standard of light years. Yeah, but are light years like meters? No, Rick. They're not like meters. Oh my god, we're actually really screwed. We're never going home. Hey, if we got this far in 30 seconds, I hardly think it's that difficult for us to get back. What? You don't understand, do you? Even if by some miracle we did get back home and it took us another 30 seconds, we still wouldn't even be back in the same millennium we left from! What are you on about? What I'm saying is that 30 seconds for us could have been thousands of years back on Earth, which means Everything and everyone that we know and love is gone! Ow! Oh, don't be so melodramatic. We'll be lucky to even have a planet to go home to. I think someone needs a drink. Wait, hold on. So are you telling me that I never have to go back to that cafe again? Yes, Cliff. It's true. We are now unemployed. Yes! Oh, yeah. You could at least pretend to be a little upset. Oh, yeah, uh, job centre, uh, P45, what a shame. Uh, Gunther, where's the nearest pub? This is a cause for celebration. The nearest designated sustenance refilling station is the... Royal Star Cluster. Which is approximately... Right behind you. Oh, sweet! Uh, I suppose I could have a shandy. Cheers, Gunther. Catch you later, robot buddy. Same problem, you ass! It's my dad! He's not having me stuck in bed! Huh? Enjoy your stay! Get over here quick before they sell! 
Seriously, corporate are on my ass about these things. They bought so many, they're practically giving them away. So for every purchase, I'll throw in a vial of hum num num for the special lady in your life. So come on down to Chesney Continuum Mysterious Pleasure Shuttle Sales Room, where if you don't buy one of these fucking T10s, then I'm a dead gaseous entity floating. Buy one! I hit too many zeros when I ordered them. I have no hands! Clean up crew required at gate 10. If you like.